when I did the first one, I had no plans for a sequel. It was a standalone film that I started getting interested in doing a sequel because I had just seen how much film technology had advanced. It's a whole new world, and we couldn't have done 20 years ago what we did in Independence and Resurgence. We used their technology to strengthen our planet, but it won't be enough. Technology is a lot more advanced now. I think that was part of the reason, you know, Roland yeah. felt like now was the time. I have seen movies on IMAX. The last movie I saw where I really was blown away was Interstellar. And uh, that's when I kind of said to everybody, we have to do an IMAX version of uh, Independence or Resurgence. All fighters, evade, evade! When they blew up the White House in the movie, and, and the all of the effects, everyone was just like, wow. Well, hold on, because it's back and it's bigger and badder and bolder than ever. It's gonna come at you in full force. I decided to do it in 3D, mainly because we have nearly 2,000 visual effect shots. We have scenes which I think when you see them in 3D on IMAX will blow your mind. It's the right way to do it. We never had a chance. We didn't last time either. This is meant to be big, you know, and Roland Emmerich makes a big movie. It's a big, big spectacle. Oh, my God. We're going to see it mm -hmm. on IMAX mm -hmm. and 3D. I can't wait. I think that'll be good. It should be fun. Hold on! My movies are really meant anyway for the big screen, and IMAX is the biggest screen, and you get the most out of it. And uh, on top of it, the sound in IMAX screens is probably the best in the world. I mean, there's no comparison. IMAX is the perfect place to see this film, absolutely. It's big and epic, and IMAX is only going to make it better. It's the 4th of July, so let's show them some fireworks. <laughs>